creating a database. The database is what will contain your classes, your rosters, your lessons, standards, and any images used in, in questions. First, let's go ahead and launch our CPS software. Upon launching CPS for the first time, you will be prompted to create a new CPS database. If you already have a CPS database, select the Open an Existing CPS Database. So we're going to create a new database. Now you want to navigate to where you will save your database. So I'm just going to put mine in my Documents folder. I will want to create a new folder to put my database into. Click on Create after I name the folder. And I'm just calling my database CPS Database. And now I'm going to click Save. My database has now been created. Now things to keep in mind is where do I save my database? Every school district has a different structure or process for where they want teachers to save files. Please follow your district's recommendations. I just use the document folder for demonstration purposes here. With your database open I'd like to point out some features of CPS. First off, you have your tabs across the top. Then you have your buttons. Down here you have your preview windows where you'll see information. If you notice, as I choose a different tab, you notice how the buttons will change. You have now created your CPS database.